Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Cameron Galbraith and I am a finance professional here in New York City. Outside of my day job, I really enjoy learning about startups and researching the next wave of innovations, both for content ideas for this YouTube channel and investment ideas for my own portfolio. One tool that I recently discovered has been a tremendous tool for this process. It's called PatSnap. PatSnap is a global patent and innovation database that provides users with a comprehensive and user-friendly platform for conducting research. They have several different software products that can be extremely useful depending on what your purpose is. But for the sake of this video, I wanna talk about their discovery feature. So PatSnap Discovery is a real-time R&D intelligence platform powered by AI connecting millions of market, technology, and competitor data points so innovation teams can make better decisions in fast-moving markets. It gathers relevant scientific news, articles, and reports, and enables users to search in natural language for technology, industry, or company trends. Users can also assess a company's technological strengths and weaknesses, uncover the landscape of a technology space by showing market leaders, startups, and collaborations, and turn data into actionable intelligence. Discovery leverages over 181 million patents, 2.66 billion legal documents, and 131 million literature sources. Discovery is incredibly helpful for me when I want to get smarter on a certain topic, but I'm not too sure where to start. Okay, I know that was a lot of words, and I personally am a visual learner, so let me hop on the computer and show you how I use it. So let's say I want to make a YouTube video about the recent evolution of the creator economy. I may have a general idea of the evidence or ideas I want to present, but I'm looking for additional structure and data to back up my hypothesis. Using the PadSnap discovery tool, I can simply search creator economy in the search bar and the software sifts through billions of data points, articles, and reports to provide a comprehensive collection of information. Now on the screen here, you can see that it allows you to refine your search in a multitude of ways. First, you can look at companies that not just have creator economy in their official name, but also companies that are associated with a key term. So you can see here creator economy tech limited, which is the name of a company. And also you can see it includes YouTube and TikTok and other companies that are relevant in the creator economy space. In total, there are 983 companies that came up for this search. Staying with the top ribbon, you can also toggle to see patents that have been filled that mention creator economy. The patent search is a key function of PatSnap, and as you can imagine, it is extremely helpful for more technical keywords. Moving ahead, there are also sections for literature, news, and market reports that are sourced from reputable locations all across the internet. We will talk about the VC investment tool a little bit later on, as it is especially useful to me, but before that, I want to discuss the M&A section. This allows us to see any M&A act activity that has happened in this space. So you can see here, it is very straightforward and allows you to view the acquisition target and purchaser, as well as the deal info. And of course, it's everything that's publicly disclosed. And all of these deals are also linked to the individual companies. So you can seamlessly dive deep into a firm's profile and continue your learning journey. So it's also important to mention the left menu on the screen. This is extremely helpful for refining your search this menu changes depending on what section of the search you are in. For the company search, you can filter by the topic of the company, so social media, SaaS, etc., as well as traditional filters like location, industry, public versus private, you're founded, and obviously much more. As mentioned before, this is super helpful for getting pinpoint accuracy on your searches, regardless of if you are looking for M&A activity or just mentions in the news. This is convenient for me as I often start with a wide scope and then choose to zoom in, which brings me to the next topic. So another aspect where PatSnap Discovery is especially helpful for me is with their VC investment tab. As I research certain industries or companies, I can see data points and articles on any company and their respective fundraising. For example, I'm working with PatSnap on this video, so naturally I was curious about their funding, and as you can see, there is tons of information on the various fundraising rounds and investors. When I click on a company profile, I can see all of their fundraising rounds and get a concise look at the investors and the amount raised. 
It looks like Sequoia is a big investor in PatSnap, so kudos to them. Raising venture capital and investing in the space is so reliant on relationships and access to that information. And that's why this tool is so helpful for seeing every aspect of the deal-making process. As someone who works in financial services, the discovery function can be immensely helpful and greatly reduce the amount of research time needed for ongoing projects. Especially as an analyst, so much of our jobs is just sifting through data and reports to get to an answer. PatSnap Discovery makes it easy to quickly complete these often tedious tasks. So let's say your MD wants you to do some diligence on a potential client. They want to present a report on their recent fundraising and investors. They also want to know if they've been active in M&A. Well, fortunately, Discovery allows you to find all of this information in one place. It also allows you to follow and create alerts for different companies or topics so that you get notified every time there is an update. This helps you stay on top of your game instead of spending unnecessary time looking through multiple resources. Another example where I think discovery could be extremely useful to you is when preparing for an upcoming job interview. It is very effective to look up the company you are interviewing at and understand where they have been in the news, their recent M&A strategy, and much more. This gives you much deeper insight into a company than what you may just find on their corporate website, and thus you can stand out from other candidates, not just with your understanding, but also the questions that you might ask the interviewer. And finally, discovery can help you immensely if you are in sales. As mentioned before, you can search by key terms. So if you're looking for different companies in a particular industry to connect with, you can type in various terms and the search will bring up numerous companies that are present in that space. This process connects dots that may not have been super clear from the outset, which allows you to think much more creatively and comprehensively than before. I really am so blown away by the depth of the discovery tool by PadSnap. As a person who works with a lot of startups and VCs, this software is an absolute game changer for me in terms of connecting all of the dots. The issue with just a traditional search on the internet is that it is very hard to get refined. Information is dispersed across several platforms, and oftentimes, as soon as you get to what you are looking for, you are met with an additional obstacle by not having access to that specific site. The beauty of PatSnap is that with this subscription, the whole internet is at your fingertips as everything is consolidated in one place with a seamless interface. If you're like me and enjoy learning more about startups and the whole VC ecosystem, I highly encourage you to check out PatSnap Discovery at the link below. You can have access as a free user if you use the link in the description. I look forward to continue using PatSnap Discovery to guide my research, and I am especially excited to see how you all choose to use it in your own endeavors. Thank you to PatSnap for sponsoring this video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.